What's up everybody, my name is Mark and today I want to take a few minutes to kind of show you in greater detail how to set up your video capture settings with the ION Video 2 PC adapter when transferring your VHS or Hi8 analog tapes. Now I did a video a while ago on how to transfer your VHS tapes, but I sort of glossed over the details of setting up your record setting for best results. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Once you've got your camera or VHS deck plugged in and are ready to capture, simply launch your EasyCap application. Now when the program loads, it should give you a capture window right here. Now to ensure your connections are good, simply hit play on your camera or VCR. You'll know if you have a good connection if you can see and hear the video playing in this window. Hello everyone out there, what a wonderful audience of extras we've got, excellent. Now because I saw the picture and heard the sound, I know I've got a good connection. So we're gonna go ahead and set our record settings. Now under the adjustments tab, you'll see a bunch of image options you can modify. Hue, saturation, brightness, contrast, sharpness, black levels, and white levels. Now watch when I move the hue tab to the right and the left and how it affects the image. The saturation dragging it to the left will pull the color out of the image and the right will push more color into it. I do find the default brightness setting on this adapter is a little bit low, so I will bump that up just a bit. The contrast, I tend to leave this as close to 50% as possible. As for the sharpness and the black and white levels, I tend to leave these at their default setting. Now these are just my personal taste, but you can adjust your saturation hue and any of these levels to how you see fit. Now over here, you do have the option to load up waveform monitors in this preview window. So if you want to more accurately measure your color levels, you can go ahead and do so. So the next tab is the compression tab. Now depending on your QuickTime codecs and the computer, the number of available compression types here may vary. I tend to use the MPEG-4 setting, that's just one that works best for me. Now you can set your record frame rate right here, so I just want to make sure I set this to my default recorded setting. Below that is the image quality and depending on how much disk space you have or the purpose of these recorded videos, you can adjust this to your liking. Keep in mind that the higher the quality, the larger the files will be. So once you've got your video settings sort of taken care of, I'm gonna drop down and just show you the sound setup here. Generally, I leave everything to default here, but I just wanna show you here, you can see your levels are bouncing, which indicates a good connection from your source. As you can see here, I'm at 44 Hertz and my source is the Ion Audio USB device. So the next thing I wanna show you is the default resolution. So because this is standard def four by three, the default resolution is 640 by 480. Now you can actually customize the size of your screen capture resolution. I tend to record everything at its default resolution for best results. Now down here you have your record setup so you can choose your record location and you can also label the files as you see fit. Now that you've got everything kind of set up, it's time to record. Simply queue up the tape to the point you want to start recording and scroll down and hit record. As you can see here, playback during recording may lag, but the resulting video will not. When you're done recording, simply click the mouse button and navigate to the folder where you saved the file and enjoy. All right, now this is Kimberly and this is Mark. Mark is going to be playing the part of Hansel and Kimberly will be playing the part of Gretel. Now... Gosh, there's some pretty embarrassing things on there. I wish I could play an Indiana Jones part three. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that it helped with some of the technical side on how to set up your record settings for doing this. I know it can be a bit intimidating initially, but it's really not that difficult if you kind of understand what everything sort of does. Um, if you like the video, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I post videos every week. Um, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.